we're joined by Matt Dubiel, a good friend of mine, is the Vice President and General Manager of WCKG Radio in Chicago. He's a broadcast uh, and new media expert who's worked with the celebrities across the board. I'm not going to get into all of it here, from Donny Osmond, been featured in uh, Fast Company uh, Magazine and Chicago Magazine most recently. Uh, he's made national headlines on Drudge and Fox and Friends, Inside Edition, CNN, with a criticism over the TSA screening of his three-year-old son on a family trip to Disneyland who's disabled. Uh, special needs, and uh, again, his WCKG carries the Alex Jones Show. Uh, afternoon drive, 1 to 4 on WCKG. We're on right now, 1530wckg.com and mattdubiel.com. Matt, number one, thanks for having us on in Chicago. Thanks for all you do. I want to get into FEMA Corps visiting your house, but first off, your latest viral video, what do you make of uh, Telly Blackwood? Uh, can't even have his his tame video up there making jokes uh, because somebody doesn't like it. I, I think I would love to see him in a cage match with uh, Michael Moore. I, you know, where's uh, Vince McMahon? Let's get it happening. Let's do it now. And uh, let's let's see him really take it to the mat. You know, I think the reason uh, or the, the symptom of this is uh, highlights the importance of two things, AM radio and your magazine. The Internet's great. Your website's great. All the things that you do online are great, but they could be shut down like that. And what happens if they're shut down? What happens if the IPs are scrambled from the domains? And all of a sudden, what happens if somebody can't go to Infowars.com and it doesn't go to the right place? What happens if Google shuts you down? You are so powerful and this message is so powerful because of these tools on the Internet. But this, if, if I get this in my home, if that gets shut down, I still have this. I still have a conduit. My power was out the other day. You're talking about InfoWars Magazine. InfoWars Magazine, yes. Uh, InfoWars Magazine or AM radio shows. I know you're on the FM. No, 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 no. In the, Austin. That's why, uh, and AM, that's why you're right. We need to keep old media more than ever. Yeah, and it's, and it's flawed. And, and there are problems with it. And yes, it's going away. And yes, the future is digital. But, but it's real diversity. We need to keep it. What happens when they shut down your Facebook? What happens when they shut down? And, and take well, what happens to the program? old local real journalist once those AM and FM stations are gone? Again, it's not making places for diversity in real media. But I'm reminded, there was a movie, it might have been in the 90s or the early 2000s, Enemy of the State with Will Smith, where they shut off his credit. Tully should be happy that today they're attacking his Twitter and today his Google's being attacked. What if he wasn't, didn't exist? That's how he feels right now. His voice is shut up and it's happening to him because he spoke out. But what happens to the regular folks all of a sudden when they can't buy or sell or do business or they're shut off because of the Internet? Because some arbitrary company or conglomerate has control. That's happening to him. And it's going to happen to me and you and others at some point. The best thing they can do is duplicate that video over and over again, like you said. Have other accounts duplicate it. And I'll tell you what I like is how Man Cow has gone back and done a daily uh, TV show that's now getting really high ratings, simulcasting the radio show that you carry in Chicago. Uh, and now he's doing a show on history. But the point is he's doing a bunch of stuff. That's what you've got to do is use the old media. Because if you go to old UHF, VHF TV and put a good show on, people will go tune into it. That's one reason old media has been in trouble yeah. is because they, they're they going with the establishment model. The only thing that sells in AM and FM is liberty. Well, yeah, regular television, you got Judge Mathis on, on UHF and VHF, and that is the old model. I, I just put an antenna on my house to get HD because all the storm's coming through, which is why FEMA came by, and my TV, my dish is getting knocked out. So I thought, well, hell, I'm going to put an antenna up. You know what all the antenna stations are? All Chinese foreign language programming. All uh, Russian foreign language programming. I don't know what they're saying, but they're getting their message out and they're doing it on traditional television. They're doing it in publications and periodicals like InfoWars Magazine. And It's it, a niche and there's advertising. I've read the, the trades. They're making a ton of money too. Well, and, and it's important. I, if I were listening right now, I would make sure that if there's a radio station in your hometown that you can get the Alex Jones show on, that you know what it is. So if you can't get it online, you, you got it. Because I'll tell you what, my power went out the other day. I went to look up phone numbers. I didn't have power. 
I didn't have a phone book. All of a sudden, we were paralyzed. So imagine being cut off because you don't have power, you don't have internet, you don't have, uh, you know, your accounts are shut down. How are you going to get this information on the regular radio? Is there, a, is there a station near you? And I'd get that magazine because it's sent to your house. You know you're going to get it, and at least you have a conduit to get to the... Well, plus, is there's less and less paper. People really pay attention to hard copy Absolutely. things now. That's why it's important to have books, DVDs, films. It's good to have an archive of this because... Yep. They can now go into YouTube and claim Joe Rogan's voice as copyright, even though he didn't authorize this, and block everybody that ever interviewed him. It wasn't it didn't just happen to InfoWars. Yeah. It happened and until he went and found out who was doing it and, and, and was like, No, no, you don't own my voice. You owned a recording I did. But they had the computer set it to where it could say that his voice was owned and and, and, this, and they've done the same thing to me. A company bought uh, rights to distribute my uh, film Endgame in Canada. A limited distributorship. Soon, my own account and other people's account was blocked. They said they owned my voice on that tape. It's scary. It's, it, it, and when you think about it, it they can go through, uh, another example is the Kindle with 1984. They, they can edit history. They can edit a book. Anybody can do it with the push of a button. So if you have archives of, of regular books, classics, if you have archives of periodicals that you like, and you have a way to get that information, that's, right. that's important. Well, last time, uh, Matt, I, I mentioned this on air. Um, callers are like, I can still get 1984 on Kindle. I think it was 60-something thousand people of, what, four years ago had it erased off their thing by design, there was a backlash, so they put it back on. Yeah. But the point is, there needs to be a backlash each time. They brag that they hope that we just get used to being censored and finally just give up. No, we've got to fight. Well, what happens when they change the words? If they can go and find everything with Joe Rogan's voice on it, they can go in and take a word they don't like. You mentioned some words earlier. All of a sudden, oh, well, we don't like this word. Homosexual. Okay. All, everything, take you take that word out and you replace it with something else. All of a sudden, history's changed. They're trying to ban To Kill a Mockingbird, this total anti-racism film, because it has the N-word in it. I mean, I mean, are they going to ban The Godfather because it has it in there? They're showing racism. It's not, it, it's showing it in the context. Yes, Alex, as an Italian-American wearing a pinstripe suit from Chicago, I'm offended by The Godfather. I demand they take all references to Italians that are derogatory out immediately. By the way, I, I like the pinstripe suit. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, man, I tell you, so how are listeners liking the show now up in Chicago? You know, uh, they love it. We have it on. We used to have you on opposite Rush, and uh, we shifted it so you're on in afternoons. It's nice because it's mindless drivel. You know what they're talking about in Chicago right now? They're talking about, well, you know, Paula Dean. They're talking about uh, the Trayvon case. In fact, I flipped around on the way in and Rush was talking about Trayvon. I was so happy to find, uh, is it 90.1 here in Austin? Yeah. And boom, it's like, okay, we're talking, nobody's talking about the immigration bill yesterday. They're all talking about, you know, the Kardashians and all of this other stuff. Uh, meanwhile, we have this radio station that surrounds uh, Chicago. And, uh, and you're talking about things that if people would open their eyes and wake up, uh, there are things that matter and, and really inf affect their lives. Smart meters in Naperville, uh, the TSA, or not the TSA, the uh, FEMA, Homeland Security, going door to door. Hello, come in. I mean, I, I, you could have knocked me over in, with a feather when uh, we got a phone call with a, from a neighbor saying, you know, there's some guy that looks a little weird, uh, you know, coming door to door, says he's from FEMA. You know, and thank God the, the wives in the, and are talking in the neighborhood. That's another thing you got to do is you got to talk to your neighbors to figure out what's going on. Yeah, they want you inside watching a glowing television screen instead of communicating with people. Absolutely. Uh, Matt Dubiel is our guest. 1530WCKG.com is the site. And they also pick us up off satellite and then restream uh, audio. So if our Internet's ever down and you can't get Infowars.com, which happens, you can pick up the audio stream at his site. Now you can watch Alex Jones live at Infowars.com forward slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. You can also browse the network, the Infowars Nightly News, and over 60 movies and documentaries all together in one place. You can watch the Alex Jones Radio Show live as it happens. So check it out, Infowars.com forward slash show. Matt Dubiel is our guest. We did a little bit of overdrive with him as well. Audio streams at InfoWars.com. And uh, we were talking during the break about getting me up to Chicago. As soon as I'm done with Obama Deception 2 in the fall, 
I am going to, because I've promised to do it, I am going to start probably doing one event every two months. And I want to go to Chicago. I want to go to Southern California. I want to go to New York, because we're on several affiliates that go into New York. Or like five or six affiliates in the state of New York, but one of them, as Bloomberg pulled their hair out, covers New York City. They can't stand that. Uh, and I want to go to Florida. I want to go back up to Dallas again. I mean, I want to do all this. And I need to do it. Plus, I want to do some events. The problem is getting a place to do it and having it be free. you got to pay for the sound system, pay for all the people. I don't want to charge $500 a ticket like Glenn Beck so I can fly in on a private jet. Maybe I've been doing it wrong the whole time. Maybe that is the answer. But, but the whole issue is we'll have to end up charging something to these things, 10, 20 bucks, because the cost of all this stuff is so prohibitive. Uh, but I want to have some big free event somewhere where, I mean, I guarantee you, if I had something in Central Park or something, and I promote it for a few months, we could get 50,000 people out. And I want to show the media that. I didn't even really get any shots of the thousands of people at Bilderberg, but the media did, uh, of, of me there giving a speech there, you know, in, in the countryside, an hour northwest of London. That just shows, Matt, that, that freedom's becoming popular. Yeah, I, you're not nervous about any of this. I mean, when, when you look at the, the kill list, you know, the, the Clinton kill list, the Obama kill list, all the people that have kind of disappeared, the idea of leaving here and going around doesn't frighten you or, or going to build a Well, I don't want to give them any ideas, but I go jog into the woods by myself. Everybody knows where I go. The, the system knows. I mean, I, I don't want to die, but I, I, I'm above them. And, and I know they're doing bad. And if, and if they kill me, they kill me. Um, my whole issue is I know I'm doing the right thing. And uh, I've done such a big body of work that if they kill me, it, it'll really supercharge everything we've done. I don't want that to happen. No. And I think I'll be more effective living. But, I mean, this is always the big topic with everybody because they see the kill list. <laughs> They're like, why are you still alive? Yeah. You must be an agent or something. Which, uh, boy, if I'm an agent, we need more like it. Cause, uh, <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Why do you think I'm still alive? Well, I, yeah, I, I think you're not out much. I mean, aside from your daily life, it's you're not you aren't stumping and traveling around the country. That that would for me, you know, if I was your your security guy talking into the arm piece all the time, I'd be like, no, keep him out. I don't not just because of oh yeah, we have nuts that say they're going to kill me. It's it's nutty people. It's and then it's just the confrontation, just the negative of you say it's something that offends one little micro group, even though they agree with you. Ninety nine percent of the other stuff you said one word that offended them. And now they're all over. well. They also make stuff up. I mean, it's freaky when people are saying I'm this, this, and that, and I'm, and, and they're really like you could tell they've got mental problems and they've made yeah. it all about me. Yeah. But I just can't live in fear of those people. No, it's true. And and you're you're stronger uh, man than I. Oh no, no, I'm not. Anyways, well, you're, you're you put me on the radio in Chicago twice a day. Well, you know what? The alternative is doo-wop music, oldies, classic rock, more sports. I mean, you listen to the radio and there is, uh, there's nothing on. That's why the internet is so popular. That's why alternative media is so important. If you had an event in Central Park and 50,000 people showed up, you know, they did one and they did a tea party thing in Chicago. And I think Man Cow was there. Crickets. Channel 2, Channel 5, Channel 7, Channel 9, Channel 30, you know, Fox, none of them showed it. Or they showed it, they filmed it in, in a way Up close. where it looked like three people were there. But here's the deal. Now we, we do this. We show how we have 5,000 out for a gun rally. The media shows three people. And you show the... And then we show their lie. Yeah. That's why they're losing... That's why they're falling apart. Yeah, I agree. Because they're not running these scams, you know, where they dub in booing over Ron Paul at CPAC. Yeah. They're not doing this in a vacuum. And by the way, if you want to sponsor the show in Chicago, that's not why he's here, but this guy's done a lot for freedom. Be sure and contact 1530wckg.com and become a sponsor today or let the local sponsors know you appreciate them and, and uh, be sure and uh, buy from them. The important thing about the Pro One filter today is that the material we use for removing fluoride and other heavy metals now will remove the latest form of fluoride called hydrofluorosilicic acid. There's no other fluoride reduction filter out there that will remove that type of fluoride. And it's extremely important because today we're hearing more and more cities are using that form of fluoride. We've been having medication forced on us through the water system for quite a while. Most people don't realize it. Most people don't realize the negative effects of fluoride. There's a wide range of health effects that are attributed to fluoride. Bottom line, why should somebody get this new Pro One Pro Pure filter? The reason to buy the Pro One, it's an all-in-one filter. It's convenient, easy to use, 
It doesn't require the add-on fluoride filter. And in addition, this filter removes the latest form of fluoride called hydrofluorosilicic acid. Gina and uh, Tom, and I really apologize for making you hold so long. I need to create a rule that I haven't gone to somebody in an hour. We just hang up on them. Uh, we're going to do 20 more minutes of overdrive. Matt Dubiel's here. We're going get, to get into FEMA visiting his house. We're going to get into his TSA run-ins, the anxiety he's having about wanting to take his kids on a vacation, but not wanting to go through being yelled at when you're like, you know, you're not going to stick your hands on my kid's pants or, you know, making his kid, his son who's in a wheelchair, get up out of it. I mean, it's, it's amazing. So we're going to talk about that in the next segment with him. But right now, Let's go to Regina in Texas, who's been holding. You're on the air. Go ahead, Regina. Oh, hi, Alex. I'm a first-time caller, and I just wanted to let you know what we're doing in Dallas and that we are listening to you, and we're trying to get the truth out and trying to get more activism going. We rented a theater, and we showed Freedom to Fascism about a month ago, and um, there was a lot of new people there that knew nothing about this. And then we piggybacked on that. We got a hold of Joe Bannister and Sherry... Jackson from the movie and Tom Selgus, and we're actually flying them in and having a, an event this Saturday at Pastor Broden's church, which is Fair Park Bible Fellowship Church, at 5 o'clock until 9 o'clock, and it's at 1321 Rowan in Dallas, and um, this isn't just going to be like a one-time event. We're going to, in a two more months or so, we're going to have Joe back and some other uh, speakers along. Well, that's beautiful. Talk. I mean, in again, everyone getting a local radio show, everyone getting an access show, everyone starting a YouTube channel to get trained to show a program director. Hey, here's my YouTube talk show, and if you can just basically talk and you'll come work for free, most stations will give you a slot on the weekend. Next, you're getting sponsors. Next, you're getting paid to spread liberty. I mean, how how easy is it on AM and FM stations? I don't think people understand that if you can prove you can talk and aren't a crazy person with a podcast you've done for a year or something that you can get on major stations you can and and it's it's harder it's harder in big cities like dallas and and houston and chicago but you can also buy time and and people you know panic when they hear that but you can buy time on a saturday and sunday on some of these stations for pennies and if you get some how much for a you pay for it how much for an hour show i mean if you've got a little bit of talent well like w i'll give you two examples wls in chicago is like the biggest am station you know in the country they charge like between thirty five hundred dollars and five grand for an hour right but then there's other stations around the country where you can get an hour for a hundred bucks on the weekend and exactly and then let's say you've got a restaurant uh, you know, at the corner of whatever you go, by the way, I'm also a, you know, evil American entrepreneur providing <laughs> service. We got great hamburgers, great steaks, yeah. come on by. Yeah. And uh, once a week we have a Liberty meeting yep. and, 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 and then you'll make the money back from the hundred dollars an hour you're doing it. And then now you could say, we're going to have a gun rally now. Oh, 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 that's one way to do it. They have all these theaters it's actually started in Austin where you can book it because of projectors. They're in the film cost, get whatever movie you want in uh, Liberty movies, you name it. And then once enough people buy the tickets, just because you promote it, it books and pays, and then you get paid to have an event at the theater. Yeah. And then see, just like what this lady's talking about, is that what you're talking about, Regina? Yeah, that's what we did. It was the Inwood Theater. It was only $400 to rent it, and, and we had the people come for free and uh, got their, their feedback and then got their email, and then we invited them to the next thing. So yeah, but, I mean, I, see, I would thing. charge. I would charge, so you pay, so you well, pay you're back. Evil. Uh, you're evil. But no, but that way you can expand. Of course, no, I mean, of course, I'm kidding. I mean, no, no, yeah. you know, th there's this new culture. It's like uh, nonprofit is uh, is hip, and uh, you know, God forbid you try and pay your bills and well, listen, even exactly. I've seen rich people go out and buy a ten thousand copies of a book to give to people. That's great. Yeah. It, it's just that for I see shoestring folks give all their money to rent something, put it on. But then you can't do it over and over again. Right. No, charge a moderate amount, not 500 bucks like you know other people do. Charge enough to pay for it and make a little money to pay for the next one. Yeah, she's amazing. That's great. Yeah, good job, Regina. Good to hear from you. Alex, Tom, we're going to get to you and then get to your FEMA story and your TSA dread. Straight ahead with Matt Dubiel, 1530WCKG.com. And again, no matter where you are around the country, you can listen to their whole lineup, including Man Cow. Uh, via their audio feeds right there. And it's good you put Mancal back on the air in Chicago. Stay with us. <laughs> Johnny Appleseed was born during the Revolutionary War. He's not just a legend. And in more than five states, he introduced apples that had not even been grown in the colonies. 
Later, the seeds from plants he planted and cultivated and some of the varieties he developed spread across the United States. And it was Johnny Appleseed teaching the colonists and then the new Americans after we won independence the love of planting fruit trees that introduced that idea to North America. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a revolutionary act to unplug from the television, to unplug from the computer and all the globalist propaganda and to go out in your backyard or your front yard or planters at your apartment or on the roof of the building where you live and to plant a garden. Become the Johnny Appleseed of your community with seeds from the InfoWars Seed Center at InfoWarsStore.com. The simple act of planting fruits and vegetables and then tending them and taking care of them and then sharing them with friends and family is a revolutionary act against tyranny. The globalists, first and foremost, do not want us to be self-sufficient. The crony anti-free market capitalist, the fascist, are using socialism and collectivism to shut down societies. Stalin in Poland and in Ukraine and other areas starved on record more than 10 million people over five years by not letting them grow their own crops and collectivizing them. Mao killed between 65 million and 80 plus million people doing this same thing. The UN says they will use food as a weapon. They use genetic evil to attack the earth and major GMO companies have been caught going into growth belts around the world, even where GMO is illegal, and planting seeds everywhere to infect the genetics of the original crops. Almost all of the thousands of varieties of Mexican corn has been infected. They are in a genetic war against everyone. That's why we have to get these seeds and not just plant them on our own gardens and not just give them as gifts to friends and family to plant spring and summer and fall gardens. I'm calling on you to go out into the green belts, to go out into the areas and plant secret gardens. No, not of marijuana, but of the hundreds and hundreds of incredible high quality uh, vegetables and herbs and fruit plants that are here. Lemons and oranges, the list goes on and on. They will grow uh, plum trees, grape trees. They will grow almost everywhere in the U.S. We can literally, not just buying these products from InfoWarsStore.com, but from wherever you get them. This aggressive program literally just came to me one morning when I woke up about 4 a.m. realizing that we've got to counter their genetic war against us with original real crops developed over eons on this planet. We have the lowest prices we bought it in the biggest bulk that some of these companies have ever seen to ship this directly to you from the InfoWars Command Center. We stand for life. We stand for liberty. We stand for self-sufficiency. Go to InfoWarsStore.com, click on the Seed Center, and as of taping this, we have the seven top respected brands. We intend to continue to do research and find other companies, other specialties, other varieties to really take action. The InfoWars Store Seed Center has the largest online selection of heirloom, non-GMO seeds. Check out these products from our newest supplier, Heirloom Organics. The Medicine Garden for a natural remedy. The Tea Garden that contains every important tea herb you can grow. Fruit lovers with 12 varieties. And the Tobacco Pack, additive and pesticide free. Join the gardening revolution today at InfoWarsStore.com. This is a revolutionary action we're asking you to take. Plant seeds everywhere today. Nurture them, bring them to fruit, and pass on the knowledge to others. Become human again. Discover your roots in the soil. And remember, the revolution against tyranny is growing. <laughs> Michael Moore criticized the video that was uh, criticizing him. Now it's been taken down off YouTube, but we've got a copy of it up on InfoWars.com. Also, CIA plans August offensive in Syria with their Al-Qaeda buddies. Uh, I, I guess I'm anti-American. I don't support Al-Qaeda. Sorry. UK bans thought criminals for criticizing extremes of Islam. Again, now you don't criticize Al-Qaeda or you are banned from England. Uh, Michael Hastings told he would be hunted down and killed by the army over McChrystal's story. That's a big report. Uh, that's the family coming out now and friends. Drone 
spies on sunbathing woman. St. Louis police chief wants a drone to patrol high crime areas. That article's up on drudgereport.com. The public doesn't believe the NSA knows what they're doing. I mean, talk about in denial. That's just some of the articles up on Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. I want to go to Alex and Tom real quick and then finish up with Matt, uh, who's here with us from 1530WCKG.com, our great affiliate in Chicago. And if you're in Chicago listening to us, I mean, you should organize with the station like a bunch of uh, placards and, and, and volunteers, somebody that says they'll go out every day for an hour, say, when I'm on and say tune to 1530 in your main listing area, and I guarantee you that will convert massive listenership as well. Uh, let's go ahead and go to Alex in North Carolina. Go ahead. Hey, how you doing, buddy? I'm all right. I, uh, hey, um, first time caller, uh, been listening to you about 30 days, and it's crazy because about 25 years ago, my mom had all these books. She's kind of mysterious. She doesn't really get out of the house much. I'm just this average kid, 15 years old, and I come across some of her stuff, and it's about, you know, the Illuminati, all this junk. So my mom goes, oh, well, you need to read this. And at first I'm like, whoa, this is way too much. This is crazy. Over the years, I would take information. I would watch the news. I'd look. I'd backtrack things. And i say, wait a minute. It's like a thousand pieces of a puzzle was thrown up sure. and thrown on the floor. Then on top of that, um, I started to put some of this together and I started telling my friends, Hey man, check this out. Isn't this crazy? And backtrack this. Oh, whoa, whoa. How did your mom know that? And some people would say, I'm like, you're crazy, Alex. What are you talking about? But then now we're talking about in today's times with technology, how fast it's evolved. It's like they can't keep up and there's so much stuff spewing out. That's right. They can't say we're crazy anymore. Matt, what do you think's going to happen? Uh, as just more and more people realize, wow, we really were lied to. Yeah. It, 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 I'm shocked at how many people seemingly don't care. Uh, they're just happy to kind of keep going on with the day and, oh, I got to do, you know, I got to do the same 15 things I do every day. I, I see there's a growing amount of people. Uh, for instance, the YouTube video of my, my son going through the TSA, uh, just rigmarole. Uh, from years ago, the comments in the beginning were were both sides, you know, people attacking me, people attacking the TSA and so on. And today, as I look at it, I see more and more people uh, sort of saying, wow, this is unbelievable. There's less uh, attacking of me for taking the video or, or for thinking that it's wrong or it shouldn't be that way. So I, I think that there's always going to be a most people aren't going to be awake and prepared and, and taking notice of the things going around them. And the, the goal, obviously, is to increase the amount of people that are just kind of paying attention a little bit more. And I think those are mostly younger people. I think those are mostly people under 30, under 20, ideally, and young folks. That's, that's why, I, you know, my father, uh, we're standing in the line at TSA just uh, for his birthday, and I was just, I was railing. I was like, look at this. This is ridiculous. And he says, you know, that's just the way it is today. 20 years ago, he wouldn't have said that. And now he's, you know, he's done. It's like, well, I travel a couple times a year. I'll go through it. It's no big deal. They're not taking it personal. I mean, you've got to realize this is on purpose. Our government runs Al-Qaeda publicly now. And do I get an apology from the neocons for attacking me? Because they were running them back then? Right. No. No, I'm worse because I'm right. And so they have Bloomberg and AP and others say I'm behind Al-Qaeda now. They publicly are giving them weapons all over the world. And they're coming out saying, I'm with Al-Qaeda now, with no evidence, because they know I know who they are. And, and it's all martial law training. That's, that's all this is, folks. And they're going to take everything. For, for people out there that think you're going to get away with all this, you're going to get away with going along with all this, you're not. Uh, thank you for the call, Alex. Good to hear from you. Last caller that I have uh, time for. Sorry, the phone system's closed now. We're going to go to Tom in New York. We're going to talk about gay marriage. Go ahead. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, how you doing, uh, Alex? Um, I'm all right. Go ahead. Okay. I have a few comments uh, regarding the recent gay marriage decisions at the Supreme Court. Uh, first, I'd like to say you can uh, probably look up at your flag today and uh, know that it represents uh, queer sex. And uh, uh, I'd also like to say I'm one of the uh, plaintiffs in uh, one of the uh, three gay marriage cases that were reviewed uh, by the Supreme Court this week, and uh, this is the case the mainstream press and the courts tried to suppress. And uh, uh, I was on a uh, a local show 
few months ago, uh, alerting the public to the blatant corruption that uh, was surrounding uh, these uh, gay marriage cases at the Supreme Court. And um, we alleged in our own action that the case was rigged right from the moment it was filed. You know, that uh, the uh, federal courts were being packed with uh, gay clerks and uh, personnel uh, who were directing these cases to uh, Clinton Obama appointees. Well, I will say this: most, most, I don't get into people's sexual persuasions. To me, it's a, it's a big distraction. But the Democratic Party, and I appreciate your call, sir, and its operatives undoubtedly uh, do set up these little gay empires, basically. Uh, and, and, and that comes out all the time at the Justice Department with these women, and then they they persecute the men. Uh, it, it, it's really bizarre. And then this obsession. Of, of sexualizing children in the public schools. I talked about this in the first hour today where they want to teach five-year-olds about all this and there is an anti-family. I mean, turn on any TV show and it's anti-family, anti-family and that's about reducing population. That's about atomizing uh, cultures because they're branding it that, well, if you have a different uh, you know, uh, identity or whatever, the government is like your your mob boss that will give you protection. And then meanwhile, they're adding all these chemicals and things, the food and water that conflict and confuse people as well. And this is all in Brave New World. We talked about this earlier in the show. What's your take on this? Did you, did, you have little kid? well, you have, I have four kids. Did, I have three. See uh, Toy Story, the, the trilogy, the Toy Story trilogy? I haven't seen the last one. Do you know the father's name in Toy Story? I there's, forget. There's no father. There is no father. Oh, that's right. <laughs> there's it they don't ever explain it they don't ever talk about it it's one of our family favorite movies there's no father i mean it's not even that dad is a bust out sitting on the couch you know lazy won't play catch with the kid that sort of thing there is no father they just went you know what we're not even gonna write it in there and it's one of these things where I, I notice when you go and you speak to your kids, teachers at their school, or when you uh, voice... They ignore the dad and look at the mom. Yes. <laughs> this is a yes. cult, man. This is a cult. It's strange. It's, uh, I find it disturbing. And, and usually I'm going in there not to talk about education. It's usually to talk about the things that are going on in the school, like why are you talking to the kids about pole dancing? Why are you showing a movie in class that is a basic, like a major motion picture movie that has nothing to do with learning? Why are we doing these things? Why aren't we talking, you know? Oh, they automatically trained everybody that men are stupid. Every show. Yeah. That's why I like Man of Steel. That was a pro-father movie. Uh, yes. Yeah. You saw it. Yes, I did. I, mean, I saw it on Father's Day with my, uh, my kids and my dad. But it's so rare. Yeah. I mean, you go see Prometheus. The women are in charge. And, and again, when you study slavery, the Romans did that. And in slave populations, they put the women over the slaves. Well, I saw the trailer for that Elysium movie. You know, yes. Uh, Jodie Foster runs, looks like she runs everything. She looks an awful lot like Hillary Clinton in that movie. Absolutely. No, no, but that's the, and again, it's not that, it's that they just replace one patriarchy with like a government patriarchy where the house slave is the woman enforcing it. Yeah, and I'm not so saying it's not even really a matriarch that men should walk around the house scratching their privates and burping and acting like uh, Fred Flintstone. But, uh, you know, you have you're supposed to run well, your family. Well, I'm going to be honest. Women don't go for a real man who's nice to him, but who's in charge of a lot of things. They go now for the criminal. That's what's seen as a man. Yeah. It's like you can't be a, a, you know, a real good, decent, hardworking man. You're you know, you're seen as a schmuck then. But if you're a criminal, then the women are, ooh, ah, yeah, it's slapping them down. It's really, it's a sick society. It's everything is upside down. And it's, but I mean, I went and saw the, probably one of the worst movies I've ever seen. Uh, I wanted to see it after Earth. Until the second half. The second half was actually pretty good. But, but it was really low budget. You could, you know, paper mache spaceships. <laughs> so I actually recommend seeing it because it's so bad. And they had ads for ABC shows. The first ad was The Dad's an Idiot. That's what the show's about. Another, And I'm not really paying attention. You should just call it that. The show's called The Dad's an Idiot. Yeah, Dad's a Moron. Yeah. And then it cuts to The Fosters. And it's a lesbian cop with her lesbian wife, a you know, blonde and a black lady. And they've got like eight kids that have been taken from evil parents. And the, and the bad guys on each show are the biological family. They go, the biologicals know where they are. Like it's a biological weapon. And then it shows the female cop like taking out the man, the dad. So now they've gone to the next level. And that's what it is. The state just sees that as the best way. Okay, 
We'll have all these people, plus they're going to be sterilized in any ways, can't reproduce. The heterosexual families, the homosexual families are really a state unit, and that's the ideal thing. It's a woman with a gun, everybody else is disarmed, and she's got eight kidnapped kids under her. And if the family tries to get them, they're terrorists. And, of course, the family will be branded as bad people. I mean, this is over-the-top propaganda. Over-the-top. Well, it, the minute that you get involved as a father, and you've, I'm sure you've seen this, uh, for instance, when, I, when the FEMA knocked on my door... And they saw me. Skip this network break. Let's keep going. When, uh -huh. when, when they, they expected a woman to answer or no one. And the minute a man came to the door, all of a sudden. Oh, it's like a terrorist may be there. Yeah. Yeah. And it was like, well, what's going on? And then, and, and even the guy was a little nervous. When I videotaped it and I put it on YouTube. And, and, uh, but notice the state's allowed to be hyper male, though. The only thing that can be male is the state. Sure. It's got the guys with machine guns and armored vehicles. And Sorry, go ahead. Well, this guy, and he wasn't very masculine, but I'll tell you, the guy that he went and reported to looked like uh, he one of those like uh, windbreakers, like an FBI sort of a jacket, except it said FEMA on the back, I believe. Yeah, I did. And he was the guy with the short hair, looked like he was ex-military, and the, the long-haired guy went and reported no, to No, they him. sent the good cop trendy in. Yes. Yeah. Well, and I'll tell you what, if, if my wife had answered, she wouldn't have felt very threatened by this, this guy that came to the door. He was real nebulous. And, and it's all been psychological warfare out. It's all actuary. What I can't figure out is what, why? Why were they there specifically? I, I know what the possibilities of what it, but it's like, well, there's other areas in the country where FEMA is needed right now. You all are coming to uh, DuPage County is one of the richest. It's, it's the coverage area of, of CKG. It's one of the richest counties in the United States. And there's not a lot of floodplains and problems. And people are struggling right now in Oklahoma and they need FEMA. So what are you doing there? Well, they're on record saying they're sending on all these agencies just to get you acclimated to the contact. Just to get you ready to answer questions. You know, yearly census now, not every yeah. decade. And, and he looked like he was... Really trying to check stuff out when he was there. He was waiting for an invitation. He was waiting for a, oh, you want to come in and just, you know, come on in. I'll get you a bottle of water. And that's how people. Well, that's like cops now take blood at checkpoints and stand there and go, mind if I take blood? And then it turns out it's for a federal program. And, and they admit they're just acclimating us for just taking the blood, period. Well, people have a, I mean, with somebody in authority, a position of authority tells you to do something. Oh, put my, put my, put my laptop on the, on the tray. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. I, 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 I watched when I flew from England back to Dallas. I had to go through TSA again to get on my flight to Austin. And there was like four checkpoints. And there are these two, two, the, you know, the classic yeah. South Park, the uh -huh. same goatees, the same kind of Nelly voice going, I told you, open passport over there. And then when they see me, they go, they knew who I was. Yeah. They're like, Oh, that'll be a quick line for you, sir. And they still got the whole speech. They still got the whole nine yards, you know, five minutes long. They were freaking out. But the whole point was everyone submitting, they were going, I told you. Uh, 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 uh. I mean, it was like. You go for the pat down? Is that, you make them give you the pat down? Yeah, but then I sit there and, you know, tell them that, you know, this is all dog training. The government runs Al Qaeda. You know, it's a fraud. And then they always do a fake pat down. Yeah. Yeah. Well, in, not in, not in, uh, not in Las Vegas. This guy was literally smacking his lips. He told me what I talked about the day before on my show. Uh, he was very excited. He got down on his knees when he was doing it, and it was he. It was very. Uh, I was like, man, you're not my wife. It was. <laughs> it, was it was pretty bad. Wait, this was this was in Vegas. Yeah, this is flying out of Vegas. I was in Vegas in May with my father. We're in the line to go through TSA. Four people ahead of us. Literally, there's like a 22 year old barfing in a bag. You know, he'd had a long night. He's going home. And I'm, I'm talking to my father, I'm telling him, I'm like, we got to go through and take our shoes off. They're going to let a guy who's actually vomiting get onto the airplane. He's going to go through TSA, no problem. They're gonna, he's going to put his arms up, they're going to scan him, they're going to let him through. Meanwhile, maybe he's sick, maybe he's got something that could be spread to people. They're not going to put him on the side. They're going to make you two, us and everyone else, go through, take our shoes off, take our belts off, and all the whole thing. Put your arms up, get the radiation scan in the whole pit. And I stand and I go through the pat down every time. And uh, we're going to Disney later on in the year, and I have four kids, two daughters. Uh, my son that was padded down last time, he, he had a broken leg at the time, so he was only temporarily in a wheelchair. Okay, so he's not, he's not, he's special, not needs. special needs. I apologize for getting that wrong. No, no, that's okay, and I want to clarify. That's right, there was a, a, another video of another kid there that was. Is. Yeah, I yeah. apologize. No, it's okay. Your son is um, not special needs. But uh, we're going to go through, and I'm anticipating the anxiety of... 
having to look at my wife and, you know, you, you hope it's like gambling. You hope that you're going to get the line where they just have the magnetometer. And then it's no. Well, by the way, they're supposed to because it is the law that the groping of the kids is really illegal. They're supposed to direct everybody. I have some friends that are musicians that fly all the time, and they've got some little kids. They're supposed to direct them to a magnetometer. Yeah, well, we'll see if that happens because I will videotape it, uh, even though my wife's going to be giving me, you know, the look. Like, what are you doing? Don't skip. But see, I mean, I'm sure your wife's a great lady. She's probably listening right now. She ought to be proud of the fact you're not rolling over. Yeah, but, you know, they... They, um, baby steps. It's all baby steps. There's, there's no, I get it. And, and women are on average more compliant with the state on average. I'm not psychoanalyzing your wife. My wife's really smart, knows what's going on, but she's the same way. Yeah. Like when I'm about to start preaching at people in a restaurant, if something happens, I'll get up and use it as an excuse or in grocery store lines. She's like, can't you ever turn it off? But I'm like, hey, I know. I'm, but then if something rubs her wrong, I'll be telling her, please turn it off. Yeah. You know, it's kind of like when your kids are being bad. Whoever sees them being bad yells at them or whatever. Yeah. And then the other spouse goes, hey, you know, don't be so mad at them. But I'm like, well, that's because you didn't see the buildup to this. Right, right. So I think that's more of what it is. Yeah. You know, the, um, the idea of them going through what Rocco went through in that video a couple of years back. That's a cool name. Um, it, it took me like five years. My wife is from Iowa. So th that name was like. Might as well have been, you know, Guido to her. Um, but uh, to have him go through that again, or to have my daughters, my youngest daughter's only 15 months old, you know, and, and the, the rub about this is, uh, no pun intended, is when you go through that, you skip the magnetometer. So today on my way here, I didn't go through the magnetometer because I got the pat down. So I didn't go through a metal detector. They don't know what's on me. All they did was feel. There's, it's actually less secure. So by saying that you want to opt out, they're not checking to see if you have metal. Oh, on but you. they admit that that's meant to pressure you into taking the scanner. Oh, well, of course it is, and then you know, and then they're checking you for explosives. Like that's the only thing that you could possibly do wrong. But I mean, these are the people that didn't want to arm the pilots who were armed before, but didn't choose to exercise it. We're going to trust them with the aircraft. Yeah, that's a thousand times more deadly. Ten thousand times more deadly. I mean, I can't even do the math on that. But you're uh, you know, a flying missile, a giant missile with hundreds of people on it, but you can't trust them with a gun. It's true. You know, I, I read, uh, you saw the video of that man that broke into the woman's house and just, it, it's been everywhere. And he beat her and it, it's just almost impossible to watch. It's seeing those sorts of things are the sorts of... No, I'll be honest. I haven't seen that video. Oh my God. We should play a clip and I should talk about it. Oh, it's horrible. Oh, that's another thing about it's this movie After Earth. Thing. These big fat alien things attack and no one's got a weapon to kill them because they're like liberals. You're only allowed to use a sword. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Alex, this, I mean, this is... What's the, the name of the video? I, I I don't know, but I'll, we'll find it afterward. It's, it's, a, it's a nanny cam. It was all over television yesterday and a man breaks into a woman's house and he... Uh, I mean, he beats her and hurts her in front of her child. And so then, you know, obviously after that, there's a debate about, well, if she would have had a gun, blah, blah, blah. And then the gun people are saying, well, it would have been locked up. And the the thought of that is the sort of thing that I'll tell you. Was he a mugger or something? Yeah, he was robbing. He was a home invader robbing their home. And they haven't found him yet. So they're talking about how great it is that she. Well, you come in my him. house, you're dead. In fact, I'll show people on air right now. And people are so scared of firearms. I mean, you come in here trying hey, to kill people, yeah. it's over. Well, you guys we got a bunch of here, right? You can carry it. Yeah, in. we got a bunch of guys that are armed back I there. I think it's great. But I mean, what's the big deal? Yeah. I mean, uh, the criminal's going to have a gun anyways. What is that, a 45? This, this is a 357. Nice. I mean, I only have this because even though I'm a good shot and good with, you know, like more complex firearms and semi autos, under stress. Yeah. I mean, with this even short barrel, a medium barrel, I can shoot a man sized target at 7,500 yards. Okay, so if somebody comes in here, I'm not missing. Yeah. And and plus, this is pretty much a, a, a high velocity, almost a rifle round. So this is one of the most deadly rounds out there for a handgun. It's do, do much better would happen if you whip that out in Chicago in a mall, you know, or you had it in your studio. If you were in Mancow studio, you took it out. People would crap their pants. It, but it, if they saw the government with it, they'd be feel safe. Right. Right. There's nothing wrong with that. You're, whole, you're an American man. You, you, you have a Foyd car. You, you know, you've done all the things. By the way, you can't get ammo uh, in Chicago. You By can't. the way, we have butcher knives in there. Right, right. Or swimming pools. Kids can drown in swimming pools. Or dive from that. Knives, whatever. This man broke into her house, and he pummeled her. What a tough guy. It was disgusting. I mean, it was just revolting. And my thought was, well, yeah, great, if she would have had a gun, except if it was Is that it right up. there? Scroll down. Yes. Oh, God. It's terrible.
You've, I, it, it is disgusting to see this. And why, why is he doing this to her? He's robbing the home. And worse off, the, uh, her child is watching. And, and if you have a gun, great. But if you have it locked up and you don't have ammo close by, you still can't do anything. This man. Did we post this on Infowars.com? It's unbelievable. And he keeps coming back. This guy is a complete lunatic. And then he throws her down the stairs. She's, you know, here's the miracle of miracles. She's alive. She's alive. Well, this is good Stockholm Syndrome. Look, she's groveling. It's unbelievable. And look, the kids are watching. Yeah. Only in America will we put up with this. In England, he'd probably sue her if his fists were hurt, and they, they, they would and rule. They would, yeah. I'm not joking. This, this, this is unbelievable. It's crazy. Uh, all right, Matt, thank you so much. 1530WCKG.com. Everybody, be sure and spread the word about us on in Chicago, buddy. Glad you came in. Glad we found out about that video. We'll post it on InfoWars.com right now. Now you can watch the InfoWars nightly news streaming live as it happens for free. Check it out at InfoWars.com forward slash show.